How to finish what you start. In the last audio, we started to talk about some of the destructive aspects of procrastination and why we procrastinate. Today, we will identify the three major types of procrastinators. It's true that busy people can be the worst procrastinators. Every time to speak with them, they are busy, busy, busy. Always in a hurry, they are constantly rushing around. In some cases, the reason is that subconsciously, it makes them feel superior to be doing many things. But in reality, they are simply poor managers of their time. They are inefficient at time management and often highly disorganized. If this is you, then it's very important to take an inventory of what you're doing and to improve your organization and time management skills. However, time management is not the cure. Telling a procrastinator to buy a day planner is like telling someone who is dressed to simply cheer up. However, improving one's organizational and time management skills are completely doable tasks. For example, do you understand the subtle difference between doing things right and doing the right things? If you always seem to have no time and never seemed to be accomplishing your goals, then you are probably not doing the right things. The cause of this is that you are likely task-oriented and need a little shaking up in that area. Dr. J.R. Ferrari is the co-editor of Procrastination and Task Avoidance, Theory, Research, and Treatment. And other researchers have shown similar patterns in habitual procrastinators. The three types of procrastinators are arousal procrastinators, are thrill seekers who get a rush from leaving something until the very last minute and then working like a whirlwind to complete the task. The second is avoidant procrastinators. They are insecure. They shirk because they fear failure. The final type is decisional procrastinators. They seemingly can't make a decision, and in their mind, not making a decision absolves them of the responsibility of the outcome of events. There are big costs to procrastination, and the biggest is usually your health. Colds, headaches, stomach issues, and neck or back pain are just a few examples of the health costs that procrastinators pay. They lead very stressful lives, and procrastinators tend to consume more alcohol among those who drink. It's another example of coping mechanism that is in place to disengage from the feelings of stress and avoidance. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.